Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Uh, just doing a reaction to last night's WWE Backlash pay per view. And they actually went and did it. They made Jinder Mahal the WWE Champion. Um, like, watching it, I was generally in shock. Like, I thought he would have came close at least, just not won. Uh, like, done his little Cobra Clutch slam finisher that he has. Uh, Orton would kick out and probably RKO him and win that way. Uh, I did call the double spike DDT on the Singh brothers. Uh, I I knew that that would come in play at some point. Uh, probably not so close to the end though. Um, but yeah, they actually made Jinder Mahal WWE champion, and not only that, that the fact that he'll be in the history books as a WWE champion is the fact that he is the fiftieth. Uh, WWE champion so he's always going to be in the history books no matter what um, like The Miz is the 40th I believe um, but it's one of those things it's like some of them you can just forget they're a WWE champion because there wasn't really anything there but this is Jinder's only title as well he's never won a single championship in his many years of being there and the very first one he wins is the WWE championship after about a six week build of being a jobber ever since coming back to then suddenly becoming number one contender and then showing this display of dominance with wins over AJ Styles and a pinfall win over Randy Orton and always getting the last word and all that stuff. Uh, you know, even stole the WWE title for a bit and then had to give it back. Um, but yeah, um, like obviously some people are obviously arguing about it. Uh, it's more of a business thing because they're uh, trying to go into the Indian market and a way to do it would be through having an Indian champion. Uh, I think they did that with Great Carly about 10 years ago as well. Uh, probably why he became champion. But um, as well, apparently like the rumours are... Uh, like Obviously, he's been working really hard and uh, he's been getting a lot of praise backstage. So it's sort of like a recognition type thing, which... They did that with The Miz back in 2010. Yeah, because they gave him money in the bank. He was US champion. Cash him, became WWE champion. Literally had, for the, the that past two years, from 2010 to 2012. Uh, well, it, it was like, I think it was late 2009 to mid-2011. Uh, Miz literally had numerous titles. He was uh, US and tag team at the same time. Uh, won money in the bank, was holding the US title. Um... He became WWE champion, WWE and tag team champion. Literally, just had all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, um, for Jinder, like my my thing with it is, it's quite refreshing actually. I know, like it's difficult with the WWE universe nowadays and the internet fans uh, because they moan that they want something different, and then they get something different like this. And people just yet complain because they say Jinder doesn't deserve it. But that's the whole point. They're supposed to surprise you and keep you entertained. Um, I'm going to be, like, not going to be surprised, but I'm looking forward to see where they go with this. Worst case scenario, Mojo Rawley makes a claim for getting a shot at the WWE title for the fact that he was the one that threw Jinder out last for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And... He's beat Jinder Mahal one on one before, uh, so if that happens, uh, it's going to be a terrible match. But then I hope Jinder retains. I really don't want Mojo as champion. Uh, his hype thing is like is just, uh. um, but yeah, it'll be interesting where they go. Uh, we'll have obviously Randy with a rematch, maybe win it back. I don't know. Randy wasn't really doing anything with the title. It's sort of like the whole Ambrose equation again. Where it's like, yay, Ambrose is champion. It's like, oh, you're just there. You know, you're not doing anything special with it. Whereas Jinder could probably actually do something with it. Um, so it'd be very interesting to see where they go with this. Um, everything else, the pay per view itself was a bit meh. Uh, I literally put the main event best be at least decent to try and save the pay per view. And I think with the fact that Jinder won actually saved it a bit for me. I'm going to give it about a 6 out of 10. It wasn't as good as last year's. Uh, the funny thing about it is that the whole like build-up and adverts for it was like built around Shinsuke. 
like the whole backlash thing had Shinsuke like him doing the L with his kick. Um, and literally it's Shinsuke's debut match on SmackDown uh, for SmackDown Live on WWE Backlash, and it was like the opening match, and I already forgot it halfway through because it just wasn't interesting. Um, like the fact that Shinsuke's debut is overshadowed by Jinder Mahal winning the WWE Championship. I really don't see Shinsuke doing well on the main roster. Because uh, he came in over, super over for NXT. Uh, as it got later towards down the line, probably about seven months or so, it started to just fade away. Like everyone hyped him up so much that it started to wear down. And the fact that he's been on the main roster ever since the SmackDown after WrestleMania and not actually done anything. So it's been about six weeks now, I think. Um, and, like, he finally had a match. It was a bit average. Um, I really don't see them doing anything with him. Like, maybe he'll get one title or something. Like, maybe the US title. Maybe a WWE title in a couple of years. But it's like Sami Zayn. He's been on the main roster for about a year and a half now. Actually, just about two years. It was, like, this time two years ago that he challenged John Cena in the Open US Challenge. Um, well, US Open Challenge. Um... And, yeah, Sami Zayn's not won a single title. Kevin Owens came up the week after Sami Zayn. Uh, two-time US champion. Two-time Intercontinental champion. Uh, and a Universal champion. Sami Zayn's done nothing. I feel like Shinsuke might do nothing as well. Like, unless they start building Sami Zayn up, I don't know what they're going to do with him. Uh, he got a win over Baron Corbin, so maybe something's there. Uh, on Talking Smack, he was discussing... Um, Going in the Money in the Bank. Like, maybe if he wins Money in the Bank, that'll be pretty good. But also, Ty Dillinger's also come up, and he's claiming that he wants to be in the Money in the Bank. Uh, if they're doing about six people, I'm going to assume they're going with uh, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Ty Dillinger. Um, AJ Styles will probably rematch against Kevin Owens, so I won't say him. So it'll be Sami, Corbin, Ty, Mojo, maybe. Uh, and you need to sort of like throw some heels in there. So like Do Dolph, I would say would go in there. I I wouldn't say throw Shinsuke in the uh, Money in the Bank. It's a bit too quick for that. Um, they need another heel in there, but I can't really think because that's the thing. SmackDown doesn't have too many heels that aren't like champions or anything. Um, or like on that level, because the only thing you can do is like Aiden English because this thing with Ty, but. Yeah, I feel like Sammy will win Money in the Bank, maybe cash in a few months down the line. But, uh, Breezango, highly entertaining. Uh, Tyler Breeze as the janitor and then as an old woman. That was very entertaining. Uh, the Usos throwing Tyler Breeze straight into the crowd. It was like, oh, he kind of threw him too far. I had to try and grab him back and it was a bit funny for a bit. Uh... I think Orton, when he threw the Singh brothers onto the table, is the second one who's like, oh shit, I threw him too far. Um, but yeah, um, so looking at Backlash, is a bit of an average pay for you. You can easily forget about a lot of it. Literally, main talking point last year's was AJ became WWE champion. This year is Jinder became WWE champion. So who knows who will win next year? You know, um, maybe they'll do something big surprising at Backlash next year. Uh, but yeah, uh, final note is easily forgettable. Um, Shinsuke's debut will be like Shinsuke's career, not like his career, but like just the debut has sort of tarnished his main roster run. I think like it's going to take a while for him to, you know, kick off properly. Like maybe a SummerSlam match, like him versus Styles at SummerSlam will probably do something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, main selling point. Jinder Mahal is the WWE champion, and we'll definitely have to tune in to SmackDown and see what they do with it. Uh, I was a bit fearful of his promo uh, coming into it because they've sort of gone on the whole race and religion thing. Like, he goes, you don't like because I'm not your stereotype, that I don't speak your language, that I don't do this. It's like, oh, you sort of play a little too much on the foreigner heel. Uh, almost to, like... Not Hassan level, because that was bad, but it's sort of almost there. Like, um, I 
I like the fact they can bounce out with the fact that he says like I'm doing it for my people. Like back back in my home country we have this, but it's sort of like uh you're almost playing too much on the foreign heel thing, I don't like it. Rusev is like Lana does all the talking, but the whole Russian thing is a bit weird. But uh yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Although Rusev did say he wanted a match at Money in the Bank, so maybe we get Rusev versus Jinder. I don't know. Uh, it'll be very interesting. But yes, Jinder Mahal is the WWE Championship. Is the WWE Championship? Jinder Mahal has the WWE Championship. And that's my final word. Right? Uh, let me know what you think of Backlash, and I shall see you in the next one.